According to an old saying, ships in a harbor are safe, but that's not what ships are built for. But after watching these clips, you'll agree that these people should have stayed in the harbor. Oh my gosh! An LHD, or landing helicopter dock, being launched. Oh, and trashing the place. Yes, it says safety first on the front. And no, we're not gonna laugh about that. Unlike the legendary Moby Dick, this ship is a lot easier to track down. The perils of buying a house near a dock. You'd probably be saying something a little more explicit than oh my gosh if you lived in this place. Oh my gosh! Whoa. Oh my gosh! What happened? Oh. <laughs> no way! Man, you guys are so Pier? What pier? Another Japanese harpoon ship encounter, this time with the Sea Shepherd ship Bob Barker. And that used to be such a lovely canal lock gate. Oh well. There go those snapping moor lines again. Better cover your eyes. Hmm, looks like the Florence spirit should have stayed in Florence. And these guys were responsible for the Renaissance? Yep, it's definitely time to get the tape out. Or maybe even the super glue if it's really bad. Ah, so that's why my delivery was late and completely trashed. Yeah, we definitely shouldn't be able to see inside that thing. Now, I'm no sailor, but absolutely nothing about this looks right to me. Yep, and I was right. And now a crash that was supposed to happen. This is the Steve Irwin, an anti-whaling boat colliding with a Japanese whaling vessel. When a cruise aboard the Disney Dream turns into a nightmare. I knew that was gonna happen. There's nothing like a good barge launch. And this is nothing like a good barge launch. If your tugboat gets sucked under a bridge, then your tugboat shouldn't really be anywhere near a bridge, or water for that matter. Just a little to the left, just a little to the left, just a little, ah, forget it. Needless to say, this is not the best ship to book your honeymoon cruise on. Just like kids, when a ship enters its teenage years, the parents, or captain, can completely lose control of it. When a big boat needs a little snack. Well, this looks like it's going okay. This is why ships should have rear view mirrors.
If you thought some trucks were guilty of overloading, then take a look at this. The one thing you don't want to see when you're hauling in a massive anchor like this are the links in the chain almost giving way. Hey, I'm sailing here. I'm sailing here. Here's why you never see ships gliding across the ocean on their side. People and ships should never stick their noses in where they don't belong. <laughs> it's not often you see a ship sinking from the inside, but here you go. Believe it or not, it only took two minutes for this purposely sunk ship to be completely submerged. Apparently, there's no escape from the Norwegian escape. I know what you're thinking. Was that whole tailor made for that dock? No. Just no. You wouldn't think a tiny tugboat could save a huge ship from disaster. Here's the proof. Back, back, back. Lasa, 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 lasa. Oh. Well, there goes the anchor. Forever. Everything about this man's body language screams whoops. You know how it is. Sometimes you just need a little nap in the middle of the working day. Anyone want to buy a ticket for a boat ride? No. Suit yourself. This is what is commonly known as a bad day at the office. Not sure if this driver's getting on or off the boat. In fact, he might not be either. Well, nobody really needed those pipes anyway. No, it's not a very bad and very slow accident. This is how ships are scrapped. The futility of a tiny boat trying to break up a fight between two larger boats. If you buy a historic riverfront mansion, then you should expect to be crashed into by a big ship or two. Whoever the captain of this ship is, he clearly hates people who sail. This ship was hit by a rocket off the coast of Yemen, and that's not something you can just fix with a roll of duct tape. Why not take a relaxing vacation in Honduras? Eh, just maybe not at this precise location. You've never seen cars falling out of a chopped boat before? If you thought you were having a bad day, then take a look at this. Try to contain your excitement as this vessel loses five containers. You have to imagine that this isn't going to be easy to fix. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, the worst parking job ever recorded on film. These two tall ships look priceless. Which is a shame. Crashing into a dock is one thing, but crashing into a dock full of cranes is entirely another. I'm gonna go ahead and say that the captain of this ship had several strong drinks that night. What happened here? Did Godzilla take a bite out of it? A new and original way to unload your cargo. This is Critter 5, and it lives under the sea. Ah, poetry. Doesn't that look like a perfect parking spot? Well, it isn't. All the captain wanted was a brief nap. What's so wrong about that? Why doesn't it sink? This must be witchcraft. Or engineering. Eh, one of the two. Vomit bags at the ready. This is not what you want to see in the executive bar during your ferry crossing. As we've seen before, cranes and ships just don't get along. Ah, uh, what would huge ships do without tugboats? Well, they wouldn't have huge holes in them for a start. Hmm, something tells me this could have been caused by a loading issue. Some tugboats have a tough life. This one was not only abandoned, but now it's sinking. What's next, the breakup of its marriage? Well, it looks like somebody's gonna be making a late and wet delivery. The only thing this supply vessel seems to be supplying is water to itself. This cargo ship drifted to shore in a storm and hit the pier of the shipyard the crew swore like, well, like sailors. Sick of waiting in line at the car wash? Try this alternative. Another shipping route with yet another strangely unexpected bridge. And now it's time to keep the good ship akimbo sailing over smooth seas by clicking subscribe.